Hey there friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy here and today I am going to create a one page layout featuring the exclusive Close to My Heart Enjoy the Ride collection. So this is a Close to My Heart collection that is available through Stampin' Up. I never thought I would say that. But what you're looking at here is the adorable pattern papers. So just like always, they are double-sided and I've spread them out so you can see all of the different designs here. I love these bicycles. They've got a pretty floral with the sun and then a smaller floral and then I absolutely love this sun paper and then of course this gingham and I love that it's a rosy color it's not the candy apple red it's rosy which is actually on the pink side so here you can see all the card stocks that you get these are all products that are in the enjoy the ride scrapbook workshop kit so you get a guide that walks you through creating three two page 12 by 12 layouts and this guide comes in the kit with all of the pattern papers the card stocks you even get some exclusive papers and that's why i always like to get the workshop kits because even if i don't follow the guide i love having all of the exclusive paper so you get two of this pretty jade green it's got that texture we've got another one with the pumpkin and rosy color i never would have thought to put pumpkin and rosy together but it looks amazing and then we've got this kind of uh, watercolor saf or bluebird you also get two exclusive sheets 12 by 12 sheets of the die cuts. And you can see there's some big titles, some small phrases, and then lots of icons. I love the clouds and I love the rainbow. You've got some banner pieces and tags. And then you get a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And just like all Close to My Heart stickers, it's a thicker sticker, it's a matte finish. So you don't have to worry about smudging um, if you're doing journaling or stamping on the stickers. You've got some border stickers and again some phrases and all kinds of fun icons and that's not all. In this particular workshop kit you get two stencils. Let me pull in a solid piece of paper so you can see these stencils. So one is leaves and the other one is clouds. And the added bonus technique that the guide teaches you is a stenciling technique, which you'll use on some of the pages that um, are taught in the guide. You also get the um, photo marker um, pieces. And if you don't use these, these are great for matting your photos. And then you get a pack of Enjoy the Ride dots. So four different colors and three different sizes. So the layout that I am going to be creating today is actually this. It's a sketch that Stacy Julian shared in her um, Live Your Story membership group. I've been a member of that group since it debuted. We're actually getting ready to celebrate our third birthday or our second birthday. Um, and so she presented us with this uh, sketch last week and I thought I would use this sketch to document some photos today. So I'm gonna clear my desk and we'll get started. All right, I brought in my Versamat and here is the sketch and I'm gonna put it off to the side so I can refer to it. One thing I forgot to mention is the Enjoy the Ride collection is available on my website for those individuals who have a email with close to my heart. So if you were a former close to my heart customer or a maker, then you will have access to those products on my website. Some things have sold out, but um, other things are still available as is this kit. I will list everything I use in the description box below. And if you are having trouble finding those products, just reach out to me. I did purchase some extras. So if you were not a former close to my heart customer and don't have access to them, you can reach out to me. So I want to use this gingham as my base, but as you can see, I gutted it out 
because I did not want to waste all of this paper. I can use this for another project. And then I cut a piece of French vanilla down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So we can see just a little bit of that gingham peeking through. And then if we look at this sketch, there's four different strips of paper. And what I did is I took the four patterns in this collection and remember they are double-sided but I cut them to two by seven and what I was thinking is maybe doing something like this so I am kind of spreading out the busy papers and the white background papers and then the two photos that I am going to be documenting are these photos of my daughter Molly and I. We went to the beach the other day. It was our first trip to the beach of the 2024 season. And they had beaut a beautiful field of wildflowers. And I just loved that. So I did go ahead and double mat these using uh, French vanilla and that rosy pink. And I'm looking at the diagram here and I'm thinking that that would work real nice. I only have these two pictures of um, this flower field and so this was a great uh, pattern to use to document these photos and I thought that the photos lend themselves to this whole collection. And then what we can do is use the sticker sheet and the punch outs to embellish. So I did punch out um, some different punch uh, die cut pieces and off camera I went through the sticker sheet and to audition the stickers, what I like to do is get my anti-static pouch and then I peel the stickers off the sheet and then I just tap the um, anti-static pouch onto that and that takes away the stickiness and then I can move these stickers around um, to see where I like them and then I can adhere them with some of my adhesive. So I thought this might be a fun little journaling piece kind of like down here and it can go either way. It could go this way or this way and I think I'm liking it this way so I can journal about the day. This was actually Mother's Day and then I liked this punch out and maybe this could go right here like that to mimic that. And maybe I'll add some twine or something because I can never just leave that hole blank. So that kind of will um, make up for those two uh, embellishments. So I need an embellishment cluster down here and as I mentioned, I was thinking this for over here, but then I think it's too big. It's too too similar to the size of that photo. This photo is three by four and this one is three by three. So I kind of like that there, um, enjoying the little things because that is exactly what we were doing. And there's little strips down here. So on that sticker sheet, we have Life is beautiful, nothing but blue skies, hello summer, shine bright. And I like these because they're different colors and they're different lengths. So maybe we can do that and kind of offset them. I don't know, the, the yellow one might clash might get lost in there. What if we just did those three? Technically it's still spring, but once you start going to the beach, it's like summer. Molly's a school teacher and she's counting down the days to the, the end of the school year. Um, so that could take up for that. 
There are some embellishments over here. Um, and then we've got some over here. So this is a sticker that's Here Comes the Sun. And we've got a heart. There's all kinds of images. I really liked this, but if I do my journaling here, I don't really need that. That would compete. But do you know what we could do? Um, I have some scraps here. This is from a zip strip. What if we took our scissors and did a little dovetail? So the way I dovetail is I find the center and I just eyeball it and I cut a slit and then I go from one corner up to the top of that slit and the other corner up to that slit and then we've got a perfect dovetail. So let's do another one. Cut a slit in the center and then go from one corner to the top of that slit and the other corner to the top of that slit. And then what if we had these, I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter. These could be coming out of here like that. I like that. And you know, because I'm using four different pattern papers, two of which are really busy, you don't need a whole lot more of embellishments. Um, I don't think I'm going to worry about the embellishment here, um, but maybe we could stick something in this corner and in this corner. So if we look at our sticker sheet, um, and we could also look at our die cuts. I did use some die cuts on another page. Um, I like all these little stickers. So let's take these and let me get my anti-static pouch and we'll just take the stickiness off of them and then we can see if we can come up with something. There's also this little heart one and I like this ladybug. This one's a cute one too. So let's see if we could. You know, there's these banner pieces here that we could have sticking out, but I think because we have that here, we don't really need that. So let's move this and see what we could i don't know if this heart is too if that's too big now that might work put that there like that i, I do kind of like that and that would kind of be that embellishment there and kind of there and then now that clashes with that because we already have the heart there i don't think we need a heart mm. maybe i do like the ladybug and the ladybug stands for love maybe i could put that down here with my journaling and then maybe just use some of the dots. Maybe put a dot there and there and embellish that like that. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna adhere all of this. I do like all of this. I'm gonna adhere all of this and then we'll see if we'll embellish this a little bit more. Um, I think that this, well, we might even be able to get away with that. I think I'm liking this. Now I did notice in the sketch they had, she has another little journaling strip there. 
So I could put shine bright there, but I don't know if that competes with that. What if we put hello summer, although that's competing with the white. Um, let's see. Somewhere over the rainbow, breath of fresh air. Oh, that might work. Let's do the anti-static pouch on this. And how about if we put that there? That would work. Um, but do we really need it? I don't know. Let me go ahead and adhere all this and then we'll decide. Okay, I wanted to share a little tip with you. I adhered the two outside pieces and I went about two inches down from the top and one inch in. So I put the two outside strips down and now I can pretty much eyeball the other two strips. And um, that seems to work out well for me. So I like to put the two outside down and then the two inside. So I just wanted to share that little tip with you. All right, so I've got my stickers adhered. I adhered this title piece with 3D foam tape, and then I added those dovetail pieces to the sticker. I put some 3D foam tape on the back, but I did cut a piece of um, gold embellishing thread, and to get the kinks out of it, I always like to place it in between my thumb and my bone folder and just run it through and that takes the uh, kinks out and then I'll wrap it around my finger a few times and form some loops and then we'll take that adhesive back off of the foam tape and I'll stick that like that and that just adds a little bit more interest to this and then I'm going to add a little bit more foam tape so that it will stick to the page and I think that will make a nice little embellishment and I do apologize for the lawnmower it seems like the neighbor always starts mowing his lawn when I'm filming but we're gonna keep going. All right, I like how that looks. I'm gonna do my journaling on this piece. Um, you can see here how I added the, that title piece with foam tape. Not sure if you can see that dimension, but I'm liking this, a very clean layout. We'll put this here. Um, now the question is, do we want this to go here? I don't know, on the sketch, there's a longer strip there. I do like that pop of blue. Um, we could even move it out a little bit and add some embellish some of those dots. But let's just, let's just sit that there and we'll, we'll decide. Now here is that heart that we were thinking Maybe, maybe I will put it here. We'll put it on 3D foam tape. I think this is too far over for me. I don't really like it there. But I do kind of like it here. Let's put that there with some more foam tape. Foam tape can be magical. <laughs> um, and then I will add some more gold embellishing thread up where that hole is because I can't leave holes on tags. 
So I just put 3D foam tape up in the top because this is gonna sit on top of this, which is already mounted on foam tape. So I do like that. Let's get some more of this embellishing thread and maybe I'll do a bow. I'm just gonna take this all off the spool and get my boom folder again. Another way you can get the kinks out of the uh, embellishing thread, if you have any in your stash, is you can wet your fingers. So wet your two fingers and then just run this through and that works magic too. So I wanna do a double bow. And this is way more thread than I need, but I always tend to cut more than I need. Better to have too much than not enough. And it's hard to tie bows with small pieces of ribbon or thread. And I think I want my bow to be fairly big. So we can stick this right here like that. And yes, I do like that. I'm gonna use my new Precision Stampin' Up glue. So if you take this lid off, you'll see there's that very thin needle almost. And then, I've not used this yet. I wonder if I have to, yes. So I've gotta take this off. I love Precision Glue. Um, I was getting it from Amazon, and when I saw that Stampin' Up sold it, I was so happy. That comes out fast. So I'm immediately gonna put the lid back on. So you can see the lid has a little needle, and it goes right in there. And it's very important that you put the lid back on right away, because it will clog and then you can't really unclog it and it will dry clear. So once that dries, I can kind of play around with the loops. Actually, I'm gonna play around with the loop right now. <laughs> I want this one to be a little bit bigger. I'm definitely in a bow era right now. Now I have glue on my fingers. Okay, so once that dries, I'll cut the, the, the strands down. I'm still thinking about this. I like this. Um, so let me go ahead and do my journaling. I'm gonna do that off camera because I always tend to mess up when I don't, when I do it live. And then we'll trim these and then, you know what? I think we're gonna go ahead and just do this. Why not, right? Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll see if we want to add any of the dots. But I think it's looking pretty good. All right, I did my journaling on that die cut piece and I added the cute little ladybug because that stands for love. And we're going to put this right down here like this. I trimmed my bow and I think we're gonna call it a day. This is very clean and simple. I thought about maybe doodling around the edge of the white daisy and adding some of the dots. But I think I'm I think I'm just gonna let it be. I like it like this. It's clean and simple and it mimics Stacy's sketch pretty closely. So there you have it. Another one page layout created for you. If you liked this layout, if you liked this video and could give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will list in the description box below all the product that I used and um, I will catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.